Hi, my name is Valerie. I'm 51 years old. I am a student at Sinclair Community College. I'm studying culinary arts. Um, I was asked by my interpersonal communications uh, teacher to share a little bit, and um, I was excited. I, I, I thought it was really cool. It's kind of been my theme this year is to, to share my experiences because I've had a few. Um, but I just, I think Pride is an awesome, awesome event. I think that people in all communities should, should have pride about who they are. Um, I just wanted to read the definition of pride. Um, a feeling of deep pleasure or satisfaction derived from one's own achievements, the achievements of those with whom one is closely associated, or from qualities or possessions that are widely admired. It took me a long time to have any pride about who I was, who I am. Um, I grew up in the rural, in rural uh, Indiana in the 70s, um, and I am biracial, and I didn't know that until I went to school. And uh, kids there let me know really quick that, that I was different. Um, I think I always knew deep down um, that I was a lesbian, although I didn't know what lesbian meant. Um, so I felt like, because I knew I didn't see what I felt around my attractions, um, I knew that that was wrong, another wrong thing about me. Um, and that, those, th all of those things, you know, uh, being biracial, um, knowing that I was a lesbian, um, instilled this idea that I was defective and that something was wrong with me. And I took pieces of myself for a long, long time and I covered them up and I hid them. Um, because I was ashamed. I was embarrassed. I wanted to be what I thought everybody thought I should be. And in actuality, that cost me probably more than if I could have just had the strength to be myself. But you know, when you're a kid and a teenager and early 20s, you don't know that it's okay to be who you are. You don't know that it's okay to st stand on the outskirt. You don't have to, to be in the, in the group. Um, what I know now at 51 is I love all the differences about me. I love all of the things that make me uniquely me. And all of those fears and all of those chains and all of those prisons that I resided in, they didn't matter. It didn't matter that so-and-so didn't like me because. It didn't matter that I wasn't this way because. At the end of the day, there's so many really cool things just about me that, but it took a long time to understand that. And so I guess what I want to tell people, anyone who's listening that's younger is all of that ishy fear will go away. And all of that worry about people accepting you will go away. At some point, you'll claim, your, you'll claim yourself. You'll claim your victory. And all those wonderful things about you that make you you will be standouts. It takes a while to get there. It was through struggle. I, you know, I was a drug addict for a long time. Um, I have been incarcerated. I have a prison number. There's so many things that my inability to understand and be accepting of who I was cost me. But now I look at it like it's part of my story and I get to share that with people um, so that they maybe can avoid those pitfalls. So, you know, this pride, embrace all of those wonderful things about yourself. Love who you want to love. God loves you and made you exactly the way you are. All of it, race, sexual orientation, all of that. God knew exactly who you were going to be when he made you.
and he made you to be his witness of love and acceptance and joy enjoy pride dance in the street embrace who you are have fun with your friends be a friend to someone else all of those things that's what god put us here for with all of our uniqueness and all of our differences so enjoy pride this year especially coming out of covid enjoy pride enjoy who you are all of it the good the bad the ugly enjoy all of it because you only get one round at this so make it count. Happy Pride.